Hi guys, it's Miss Jenna here. Light sculptures is an activity where we make interesting pictures using only light. To make an interesting picture using only light, we have to learn a little bit about how light works. So different objects change light in different ways. You can have objects that are opaque, um, maybe like my, oops, come here, uh, pet gecko, or maybe this picture of a angry cat. Those are objects that light can't pass through and is only reflected off of. And then you might have objects that are transparent. Those are objects that light can go right through enough so that you can see things on the other side. So maybe this glass cube or this file folder. Then there's objects that are translucent, which means that light can pass through them, but it scatters it so much that you can't really see things on the other side. So for example, this cool 20-sided dice. You can see the light through it, but you can't see me through it. There are objects that change the color of the things that you see through them. Um, so remember how I said my transparent file folder? You can see things on the other side, but everything looks kind of bluish greenish through it. That's because it's filtering out all the colors except for the bluish greenish ones. So we're gonna go on a search through my house for some different objects that might be translucent, transparent, opaque, or might filter light in interesting ways. Light Sculptures is a challenge where we are exploring some materials. So we need to go shopping for some materials around our house. Um, you wanna find things that have interesting shapes, maybe like the seashell, or that are transparent. Um, ooh, this D20 die, maybe. Um, maybe this interesting water bottle. Oh yeah, that one. Mm, interesting. Okay. So I've taken everything outside just so I can see what kind of shapes and colors I get when the light hits these objects. I'm going to get a big blank piece of canvas that I can use to sort of make my shadows on and start arranging my objects in front of it. And I kind of had to do a little bit of experimentation. I ended up using a bike light as my source of light and I just sort of arranged things how I planned and then I did a little bit of adjusting. Um, some of the adjusting had to do with moving the objects around, some of it had to do with changing the lights and trying it at different angles, trying multiple lights, trying lights with different colors, and just getting the right combination. Once I had everything kind of how I wanted it, I took my camera and I got some gorgeous pictures. 